out. Honey, you? Maybe we'll go in to press the button. All right, just make sure. So, who could tell me what the introduction was all about? The main point. Oh, we're trying to trust a originator. Mm-hmm. Um, Anybody else? Introduction. Alright. So out of those two, would you think is more examinable? So one of the things you have to know is how to establish a trust in the Bahamas. So who wants to take a stop? And how you would approach a question about establishing a trust in the Bahamas? We we'll talk about the licenses that you need. The securities commission has to decide. No, no, no. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. What would you want to talk about? What is needed? This is establishing a trust or trust company. Trust company. Trust company. The type of trust is restricted. Okay. You put all of that here? That's too much to write. One. The type you're applying for. Mm -hmm. Restricted or unrestricted. Mm -hmm. The type would be whether it's restricted or unrestricted. Mm -hmm. Based on the type, what is required. And then the requirements. requirements. And what do you think you should include in the requirements? The fees and the. Fees. Yeah. What else? The um, general the chair, the chair directors, um, the amount they need to um, ownership capital. Capital. Uh huh. Application required. This is a, but that's. That's what the question is. Mm -hmm. This is a 10 point question. Mm -hmm. So what else you need to tell me? Um, different legislation, so we said that. Uh, mm -hmm. the capital line. requirement. We have that. Mm -hmm. okay. Did we say, um, talk about the legislation, the bank and trust companies regulation act, and uh, mm -hmm. the, mm -hmm. the banks and trust companies regulation mm -hmm. act? But the question already tells you that's what you're doing. You're establishing a company under that act. Mm -hmm. So what else are you going to tell me? Required to establish a trust company. And then what the requirements are? Which are? The name of the trust company. Yes, address. there you go. That's what you have to put in this. Finance. What page is that? Financial. From page eight, 8 to 9, nine to 10. ten. Uh -huh.
to everything that's needed to apply we don't need to be everything. The person who knows more gets more points. It's worth 10 points. So if you look how it is laid out on pages 8 to 10, now how would you answer that question? It's 10 points and you only have 3 hours. So you're not spending a lot of time, but you have to know what you're writing. How would you answer? Right. Application requirements for establishing a trust company in the Bahamas are one, two. In most instances, there's no need to repeat the question. So just write the answer. Write what the answer is based upon how the question asks you to answer the question. Answer each question on a separate page. I see a lot of people like to put number two, then number three on one page. It's difficult to mark like that. Because you mark each question one at a time. How much questions do you have? You have two mandatory questions, which will come to last. Okay. And then six ten point questions. So you say mandatory, so we choose from the six ten point questions? No, you have nine and you choose six. Okay. Mm -hmm. Two mandatory. Two mandatory. There were 20 points each. We'll come to those last. Mm -hmm. And then you do six 10 points. Mm -hmm. So we go through the whole nine. And you decide what you're more comfortable with. But again, like I say, whenever I mark these exams, even though I would have gone through the whole exam, People write all kind of strange things. I don't know why. <laughs> if I already told you what the, what's coming, <laughs> we've already gone over what I'm looking for. Why are you writing something different? You probably just it was in the yeah. No, you need to listen to focus. <laughs> the exam is just how you deliver it to me. Okay. Uh -huh. You see what I mean? I Maybe because I could have just, um, like today, just do each chapter, like how we did it last, last week, week yeah. and then just walk out. Then you go in the exam and you try to gather like, what exactly does she want in this question? You see what I mean? Yeah. Then everybody will be all over the place. I focus you for the exam, and then I expect to get a focus answer. Not all over the place, talking all kind of things. Let me just make sure I understand what you're saying as it relates to the question. You said there's nine questions and you choose six. Yes. Out of the six, two are mandatory. No, no, no. no. That's that's two mandatory questions. questions. Wait, 20 points each, so that's 40. Okay. And then in part B, there are nine questions, choose six. Oh, okay. We're going over the nine questions now. There were 10 points each. And like I say, when I say 10 points, People like to come and give me two sentences and three sentences. You can't get 10 points for that. Listen to what the questions, what it's asking you to do, and answer it. So if, if, if there is something and you know in your notes that had 13 parts, let me go over it. And I ask you to, to give me six. There's no way you can walk an exam giving me three. You already know from when we did the review, there are 13. And you know, to answer any question, it has to be half or more. Mm -hmm. So why you can give me three? You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. So focus. So, if I ask you a question, how to establish a trust in the Bahamas? It's a 10 point question. So you're not spending a lot of time on this, which means you must know. How would you lay that out? Don't repeat the question. It's not an essay question. So, so oh, so you could bullet point? How would you set it up? I would put decide restrictive or not. Or you could just, what if you do like two columns, restricted there you or go. restricted? There you then, go. Yeah. You pick which one you want.
So you don't have to speak on one. Just no. speak on one. Yeah. Just remember how I said, you're applying for a trust license. Mm -hmm. So you decide now which one? which one you want to write on. Okay. You have enough time to figure out using those same pages, 8 to 10, mm -hmm. which, one you, want which one you want and what are the requirements. If you decide you're going to choose this question, which is very easy. There's no analysis here. Okay. Either you know it or you mm -hmm. don't know it. Okay. Got that? Mm -hmm. I don't see you writing. Is what I have here. Would you like? Was before how to establish a trust and balance type of trust. That's the question. Yeah. Basically, what you stated on the board. So mm -hmm. you have that there, and then pages eight through ten. Yeah, but we just narrowed it down even better for you. So applicants for it. You choose which type of trust, and you put it in a table format. So that means all the requirements on pages 8 to 10 goes on the left, and then you put on the right. What you would, whatever you're going to name your company, what you're going to start your capital off with, it depends on which type of trust you choose. Hmm. Okay. So you choose a company, you say what is needed, and you would actually put in what you, what you have. Right. So here it says, which first thing you need is a name, right? Mm -hmm. So I don't know, we'll call it Milk Tree Trust Company Limited. They want an address. You see? Mm -hmm. Going through pages 8 to 10. Okay. This part you can make a volume in the exam. This part is what you need to know. The requirements is what you need to know your head. Right, right. You could put these in in the exam. That will take you two seconds. If you decide to do that question. So applicant for unrestricted trust. If you pick unrestricted, unrestricted. they're different types. Okay. You could do a restricted. Mm -hmm. You could do a nominee trust company. basically set the format. Yeah, you put the requirements here, that's set on the pages, and then you fill on this side what you would be required to submit. Well, you had to carry the whole bag and not just the phone. I had enough for the phone <laughs> in there. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so tell her what she missed. Okay. So she can have it for herself. I listen in. Tell her. What it means by financial year of the trust company? Financial year? Mm -hmm. It means the company decides when you say you're doing for the day. Whether you're year end, the October 31st or December 31st. You mean like if you have a physical year, physical year, when the year ends? Yeah, when you want the company year end to be. You see, you're doing it now. They already started. Once you know this side, mm -hmm. you can always fill this out in the okay. exam. Okay. If you decide you're going to. Okay. Do you have to fill it out? Or so yes, yeah, you have to fill it out. 
They say so full names, addresses, like. and um, sorry, the name, address, and professional qualifications of auditors. Mm -hmm. You could just put auditors and then put all the information. Put auditors on this side, side and then put, put KPMG. Okay. PWC, Ernst and Young, Grant Thornton. Mm. I see it here. Shall I remember KPMG to stay in the bank? Yeah. Uh huh. What? I understand. Mm -hmm. this is Okay, so um, it's so you will now you won't be able to give me a three year projection. Okay, so just yes, I see attached. Okay. That's as normal as just, just the cover sheet that normally goes with an application, like the last one. A three year. So you just say for C attached, three year projection. Yeah. Proposed internal controls, see attached internal controls. Then you want your capital, right? And you know the capital will come from page eight. Okay. It's on the type of trust. Okay, you got it. Okay, I mean I, I understand what as far as filling and letting in application works. How would that? How would that basically? Like I thought the real one. If you're doing a real one, it'll be just like I'm doing this right now. That's your cover sheet. Mm -hmm. Okay. So and then attached to that would be all the things that I just finished telling me. You'll say see attached. Along with that application, you have to give them your three-year financial plan. So you'll say see attached. You will have to give them your proposed internal controls. You'll say see attached. So all of those go, you know what I'm saying? As a side of it. Then they want a copy of this, that, and that. So when you put this there, you say see attached. You can put C attached references and stuff of shit. Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Now if the capital, remember I told you the capital comes from here. Based on the type of trust you establish. So we good? Mm -hmm. So when we say capital, we just put it in the amount that we require them all from here. Yes, yeah, it's on the type of trust that you're okay. selecting. I mean, just put the amount. Of yes, put the amount. Say. That's it. Okay. See how easy that question is? Now, an exam, would you've answered it like that? No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know. I think I would have been writing, writing. You'd be writing all <laughs> kinds of things, right? Saying what? That's the funny thing. Saying what? All right, so let's go to unit one. You finish with that. So what was unit one about? Definition of a trust, parties to a trust. Creation and termination of a trust. General types of trust. So that was just an introductory to all of the chapters to follow. Because remember, all the things are in unit one. Each chapter goes for that and breaks it down a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And then unit two. What would the subsidiary companies be? Sorry. Hmm? A subsidiary. Mm -hmm. A subsidiary company is a company that is incorporated in the Bahamas, but it's a part of a group. That's a parent. Mm -hmm. You understand know what I mean? Yeah, but why we need it? No, if your company is a subsidiary, you have to let the regulator know. If your company is a standalone, then you say standalone. Okay. Um, I probably was writing at the time, but did you um, state exactly what is going to be on unit one as yet? No. 
No. I said unit one is an introduction to the chapters to follow. Okay, I heard. Yeah. I thought I missed something. No, no. She's filling. She's filling that out. Capital. Name all the subsidiary companies of the applicant. Mm -hmm. So that is either you have subsidiary companies under you, mm -hmm. or you are a subsidiary yourself. Oh, okay. So like you said, let's say if you were you were incorporating Picte, then you would say it's a subsidiary. Oh, okay. It has a parent somewhere else around the world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. If all if the company is incorporated in the Bahamas and all the shareholders are just incorporating that company, they have no other company above it, mm -hmm. and it's a standalone. Okay. And that one on page is another structure. Which one? What we were putting out. No, we I mean you fill this out. Yeah. You, you fill this out based on the type of license you want to apply. Oh, oh, so the capital you, so requirements say, change okay. depending okay. on what yeah. type. Okay, so just basically me choosing. You choose, oh, yes. I thought you were. No, you, you know. have a week to choose whichever one you want. And then, uh, just make sure the capital corresponds with what you, the type of license okay. that you're going to apply for. Pro uh, practice that. Yeah, if, if you're going to do that question. What kind of but it's in all. I see it actually. All of them will be the same. Yeah, except the capital style. Only the capital style different from what I see. See it actually. But you put on the side what's required. Is it in me? You put copy of the incorporation memorandum. I mean, you know that, yeah. See, you put on the opposite side. See it actually. So the bullet, the bullet, the number nine depends on the type of formation of the company that you've incorporated. So you have to make sure that you select the documents that match the type of company you have incorporated. You can put a an a partnership agreement with Memo and Arts because they do not go together. Partnership is partnership. Memo and Arts is a company. Yeah, you need you need a certificate of incorporation. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this and this with the partnership. Um, you said that's that's that's, that's if it, if that's if it is a partnership. Okay, so they don't need the. If you're saying your company is a partnership, mm -hmm. you need a partnership agreement. Mm -hmm. If you're saying your company is an actual company, mm -hmm. incorporated under the Companies so Act, you know. need memorandum and articles, mm -hmm. certificate of incorporation. Okay. What about the other child? No, that's a different type. Okay. So if your company is a when will you need the ARC or the Charter? If, if you are coming from a different jurisdiction. So how do you know which one of these? Of in question of in point nine, it will be related to what you would need if you were to choose a non-mean or restricted or unrestricted. It depends on which jurisdiction you're coming from. Mm. Okay, so what if I just start up from here? Then you just need it. So to have a corporation, no more analysis. If you're coming from a civil jurisdiction, then you need a copy of the act, mm -hmm. and then you need the channel. Okay, civil and then you have this right here, right? No, no, no. This is a common law jurisdiction. You know what common law means, right? Yes. Yes. So there's common law, so and civil there's civil law, law, and then there's Sharia law. Civil law is what? U.S. No. Which, which which jurisdictions that were like which capital or which body? French, okay. Brazilian, the civil laws. French. So, I'm going to see another one there. 
That's like Qatar. Islam. Mm. Like the Muslim country. Yes. Mm. Mm. Okay, so the partnership is a certificate of incorporation. No. Partnership is partnership agreement. No, partnership agreement. Mm. Remember, I'm not bad because there's a certificate of Mm -hmm. So I mean we can make up these companies or whatever. Right? Whatever you put on the right you make yeah. up, but it has to make sense. Okay. So yeah. it has a like whatever we say this it has the time mm -hmm. it's this principle. Yeah. Um, Now, last week we went over a word, and I told you that word is key to being a trustee. Fiduciary. Yes. So there is a question on the fiduciary duty of trustees. And when you look on page 22, you see 12. That is 10 points. And it's a 10 point question. So, okay. how many do you think I want? Okay. At, least At least half. At least half. No less than six. The page 22. Now, you see what I mean? So, if it's 12, you can't give me two and you can't give me three and expect to get 10 points. What do you mean the general duties of the trustee? So you should be able to do half or more and give examples of what they mean. That's not. That's not a lot. That's not a lot. So give, give, uh, um, so, <laughs> it's twelve to, to give yeah. like examples. What does that mean? For example, to familiarize themselves with the justice instrument. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you choose that one, how would you give an example of that? I mean, they have to make sure read and, and, and um, I mean, I don't use familiarize again, but they have mm -hmm. to. Um, uh, I would say research. They have to read all the information. We did all that last week too. Yeah. Remember? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so, so, um. But I'm just trying to have to say it differently than, you know, mm -hmm. that's almost kind of self explanatory. Yeah, yeah. some so, of them just. Some yeah. are. Yeah. And some you can give examples for. Okay. Such as. Make no profit. Here. Yes, make no profit. You give an example mm -hmm. of that one. Mm -hmm. Make no secret profit. Okay. Mm -hmm. To act in good faith, you give an example of that mm -hmm. one too. Okay. To protect and preserve, you can give an example for that too. Okay. What, does, what does it mean? What was your question? Mm -hmm. okay, no, um, basically, you give a question, just let's say an example, okay? Give the duties of the trustee, like that. Mm -hmm. and then just let us step in underneath like how questions or examples give the examples underneath. Not questions, but examples. Just like how you said. You mean you list the duties for us and give yeah. examples? No, list each duty with an example. With an example. Mm -hmm. Explain mm -hmm. what it is. What do you mean? Explain what it is, how it can happen. Or what is it is expected for him to do? You good? That's what you remember? Mm -hmm. There are cases in the back, you know. Yeah, okay. huh? There are cases in the back. Mm -hmm. Remember, you all were supposed to go through those cases at the back. When I left you all, I said, please read the cases at the back of each chapter. And so when you read the cases, the cases tie into the duties. Mm -hmm. So you still have a week to team up 
go through the cases and you can apply the cases to the duties. No excuse. Now when you say tie the cases to the duties, um, we could just note the case or we have to say No, you can say what it is because that's your example you're using. But you don't have a case for every duty. No. Uh -huh. No. Only one example makes sense. Exactly. Let's go to chapter three. So for, for that last one, with the duties, that's a 10-point question. So you know if you give, the minimum is six or 12. So you give six with examples. Then you're almost there to get an eight points. Yeah, well, I can get Depends on how you write it. <laughs> I mean, you could give me the six, but I find that you'll give me six. And what students do is the examples that they provide for the six is really only examples for three. But then remember you say, oh, it's hard, example. No. But well, that's all why you don't have cases. You have cases. You can explain it. But you have a week. You're trying to get 10 points. So why would you now go home and just look at the ones where there are no examples? It's an easier memory for you. <laughs> <laughs> Less stress for me. Face stress. This is stress. No, it is not. No, it ain't stress. I mean, in that way, I mean, just fine and balanced. We work time, in, you know. Time. We yeah. work in, we get churn, we have this. So it's finding the balance. Um, today is Saturday, the exam is Saturday, and there are six of these. Um, yeah, so you have one a night. Hey, do we pay that out, Jim? Huh? I didn't book that ticket. Uh, you have to come on You do it afterwards now? No. no, before. Oh, oh, it's it's the, you won't do it the the next week. You won't do it Thursday. It's ready. You remember that? Mm -hmm. It sounds ready. Okay. If I want to do it, I can do it. Uh huh. Let's go to Miss Dean and tell her when you want to do it before you leave today. Mm -hmm. So she's prepared. He won't come to me. That's all it is. <laughs> no, I would do it Friday. Anyway. I do it Friday. You can do it in the day. You do it in the day because they're not open in the evenings. It was at all. Well, I can't do it. I'll do it Sunday morning. You by yourself. Nice work. I can't do it. All right. So unit three talks about different types of trusts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to let you go all over the wild goose chase and tell you the whole chapter. And then I tell you once I want you to write on, then you try to find it if you decide to take that question. So I need you to know. What's a charitable trust? A fixed trust? Okay, so this question three types of trust. Charitable trust, fixed trust, sham trust, secret trust, and discretionary trust. Charitable, fixed, sham, secret. And remember, the key to answering all of these things is using case law and legislation where applicable. I just say that in general. Sorry, There's no what legislation are, what are for the, the types. Trusts? What are the trusts? Charitable, fixed, sham, secret, and discretionary. Mm -hmm. That's it? That's five. One, two, five. Three, four, five. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that means it's two points each, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So just saying what they are. Oh, here he goes again. Look, you won't get half a point. Uh -huh. 
the amount you give me is based upon what the notes are in the book. So take secret trust. You see all that on page 28? Mm -hmm. You should be able to summarize that. So like, how I know, discretion, how I know of my head, secret trust, right? Please. I mm -hmm. know my head, secret trust is a trust where as you don't want people to know that you leave this money for this person. That's when you put a trust within the trust, right? Mm -hmm. So, but you just leave it and say, okay, you play as if you leave it for her, but you leave it for her, but you tell her, you put in your trust that you leave it mm -hmm. for her, and you tell her to give it to her. So if you explain mm -hmm. that, that's fine. Yes. Okay. So that, that's the definition. Then go into the legal side. There are two types. Fully mm -hmm. secret trust. Fully yes. secret. Uh, fully. You see what I mean? Because okay. that is in the notes. But you could explain it in your own words. Like yes. when, when someone leaves, someone that's in charge what, of a trust for someone else. Right. But okay. this fully secret and harsh record speaks about how the actual trust is affected. Mm, okay. If you go to charitable trust, all I simply did was tell you that there's four different categories. That's it. So you should be able to list the four of those. Okay, okay so, you so see? within the question, let's just, just run back over. So within the question, give examples of um, the types of trust. Or, what do you mean give examples? Or, or, or you already have like listed. I would explain uh, what they are. You have it listed like, like you just said, secret trust and then mm -hmm. and you have explained them. Each. Okay, so explain. I've given you the ones instead of letting you Remember. Just say, no, instead of me saying to you, there's a question on types of trust. Mm. And you go home now and study 13 types of trust. Then you get an exam, I've only picked out five. You will get confused. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Because it's a lot of material. So when I tell you, right, this type of trust, you give me the answer for that type of trust. Then I ask for this one, you give me another one over there, you get zero. You already dropped down the 90. I'm focusing you. So when I focus you, I expect more. If I leave it open, then I expect less. Yeah, so those, those ones you gave us is what we focus on. Yes. Mm -hmm. And where there are cases mentioned in the chapter, I expect you to mention them. Mm -hmm. Sounds good? There's no explanation in the book. What's happened in the book? Yes. In, you go so by the book. If you can, you limit to what's in, in the text. Okay. But then, like she was saying, remember, there's case law at the back. Okay. So, when you see a case is mentioned, you should have already, for each chapter, if I tell from the first class, read the cases. So, in your notes, you should have some writing. Because in most of these, where you see the cases mentioned, the rule is already in the notes. So you didn't really have to go and look it up again. But if you look it up, you would see that what I wrote is the actual case. But you'd only know that if you read it. Got me? OK. The students always come back after the exam and say, oh, why did I fail? How come I only got this? And I say, but this is in the book. You didn't read the book. Yeah. People do fail. Because these are 10 point questions, and some people write me two sentences. How is that possible? It ain't possible. All right, so that's three. You get 30 points already? Mm -hmm. Okay. chapter with you. I think I did. That's the schedule. 
I show my hours. Page 31. 31 speaks about distinguishing a trust from other relationships. 31? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So we talk about a trust versus bailment, a trust versus agency, a trust versus contract, and a trust versus powers. Yes? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you must be able to distinguish a trust from a power. Talking about bailment, no, 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 no. You're no. just talking about the powers. That's it. So, for example, now. a trust, okay. a, tr a trust has an obligation to act, but a power has no obligation to act because it says here a trust is imperative while a power is discretionary. Nobody getting confused. Turn to page thirty-one. Thirty-one speaks about a trust. You know what a trust is, right? And it distinguishes from other relationships. Because sometimes things just arise in the course of doing business. Oh, okay. And people say, oh, well, I put my funds in the safety deposit box, so you're holding them in trust. No. Mm -hmm. That's called bailment. Mm -hmm. Different rules. Or someone could say, I entered into a contract, and you were holding those monies for me on trust. It depends on how the contract is worded, because they're two different things. Mm -hmm. And so that's why they go through distinguishing between a trust and bailment. Trust, contract, trust, agency, trust, and power. Because okay, so they're not the same thing. All right, okay. So, like you said, this thing from the trust and the power is right here. Mm -hmm. Page 32, the two points of the power and the power. The two types. Two types. Mm -hmm. I could have made that a full mandatory question in part eight. That would have been good. I just asked you to a uh, question more or less asking you <laughs> um, to differentiate a trust from other relationships mm -hmm. that can happen in the course of a transaction. And then you'd have to give me all of them. Oh, no, no, no. You see what I mean? Because I wouldn't give you any. Mm -hmm. Okay. You see? Yeah, so there's a different way, it's a different way to write it. Point yeah, we came to them last. Oh, Jesus, thank you. You should have one of them. <laughs> Remember now, the less of them you have, that's more materials for you to cover. Okay. 
because each 10 point question is on something totally different. So if you want more of them and less mandatory, you're covering more material. <laughs> I don't know, I should. I'm not a good test taker. I just shut down. I don't know why. You shouldn't shut down. You have plenty of days to get ready. I know. I mean, as of what we're doing now. Let's prepare your answers and keep going over. over it. Yeah, well, that's what, I, that's what I'm marking now. now so when I go home. And it's good you ask some questions as you, as you become confused. Yes. All right, chapter four. Chapter 4 speaks about validity of trust. And we know for a trust to be valid from the very onset, there has to be three certainties. A question can focus on any one certainty, or it can focus on the three certainties. But whichever one it focuses on, you have at the very end of the day, say which certainty is missing, and whether or not there is a trust. So I've given you five scenarios. When I say scenarios, they're not long. They're just a sentence. Mm -hmm. This is chapter four. And you have to tell me whether or not they are valid. But if a certainty is missing, then there's not a trust, right? Because you, you, you have to determine. Yes. You have to there's so three certainties. The question could probably focus on just one certainty. You have to determine which certainty to focus on and whether there is a trust. So how do you do that? You have to know all three. You have to know all three. So you know and you have to know the requirements under each one. What is the requirement to have certainty of intention? What's required to have certainty of subject? What's required to have certainty of object? Mm -hmm. The requirement is just once you know who the beneficiaries are. And but that's that one, yes. That's the requirement. That's the requirement. That's, that's, that's oh. Mm -hmm. oh, that's what you need. Yeah. Okay, and you need a case. So those, there are little five little vignettes there. So you know there are two points each. So I'm just asking. So once there are not all three certainties, then there's obviously no trust. Right. Okay. But these questions will focus on one certainty, just one. Which one is that? That's it. That's all I tell you. Well, so you're gonna have to know these, but you're gonna. That's what I'm saying. One. Yes. So from. Subject model objects. I'm going to pick mm -hmm. once. Uh, you tell me whether or not it's valid or not. So and why? I would just focus on one. Uh huh. Okay. I don't really understand. Let me ask. There are three certain. Okay, go. I know there are three certain deeds, and you are going to have five points, mm -hmm. right? Five different scenarios. And All focusing on the one. Focusing on no one certainty. Mm -hmm. And in each of those five ones, you have to say whether or not the trust is established, established based on that one certainty. Oh, okay. So you're only looking for them to have the other two certainties? No, no. Okay. One certainty and just say it was valid. Mm -hmm. And, and if why? that certainty is met properly, then you that would mean that it, it could be a valid trust. trust. Yes. Okay, that's what. So don't just say <coughs> no, yes, no, yes, no. Tell me why. So you would say this um, focuses on subject, certainty of it's subject gonna, It's going to tell you. Oh, okay. The question will tell but you. But you just have to say based on you, what Based on what is written there, whether or not whether, whether that certainty has been met, and whether it's a valid trust or not. Oh, okay. And whichever one it is, you have to explain. And if it isn't valid, you have to state why. Mm -hmm. And if it is, you still have to tell me why. So under each one, you need to know the case law. And there are cases in here. So if you go with your cases in your head for each certainty, you should be able to answer this. Which page the certainty is on? That's unit four. 36. 35. Oh. 25 and 36. 
37. Unified speaks to appointment of a trustee. So you need to know the various ways a trustee can be appointed. the trustee has to do to preserve and protect the trust. And what I find in, in, when students write exam, they, it's like they run on and on and on and only answer one part of the question. Read the question in its entirety. How many parts was that question I just said? What you said, you were three. Sorry, no. Where the trustee three. can be appointed, and then uh, what a trustee must do. No, the first thing I said is appointment of a trustee can be made in two ways. Then I said, you need to tell me how a trustee is appointed, a new trustee. So explain the two ways. Mm -hmm. Then, new trustees, and then what actions the trustee takes to protect and preserve the trust assets. How many points do you have now? Sixty. See that? I have a question. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Go ahead. Um, Go ahead. You say there are two ways a new trustee can be. Mm -hmm. But you say trustee. You're talking about a new trust? Or no, a trustee. The first thing is a trustee in general can be appointed two ways. said it's in every class. We even said it last week. You mean in the two set, ways uh, is where they, if it is a new trust when the set look goes in. Mm -hmm. or Which is called what? Creation. Yeah, but when the set look goes in, what's that called? It was on the board last week. At the very top, I can remember it. There were two words written on top. You probably didn't write it down because you knew it already. I and yes. Did you say individuals or or by will? You fall asleep again? I never fall asleep. Well, what, what did we just say? Enter me rules. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, because I knew you missed that word. <laughs> Hold on, uh, this was confusing me. Enter me rules. What is enter me rules again? Living. Living. I don't understand this. You say. No ways trustee can be appointed. You're saying there's two ways whether they appointed individuals or intestate. Generally, a trustee can be appointed individuals or by will. Set it in your mind. Okay. There's two ways. Then the question comes how do you appoint a new trustee? As it relates to individuals 
or or intestate. Mm -hmm. So intestate or intervivos, how um how to start um how to um, So if you're intervivos that mean you've gone to a company and you decide you're going to establish a trust, create a trust. Mm -hmm. So how is a how is a trustee appointed in that arrangement? Or if it's done testamentary, how is a trustee appointed? Executive and exactly. Yeah, we went through trustee. all of that. Yeah. The trustee follows the terms of the trustee, and if it's under the will, the terms of the will. You all know this, you know. I don't know why I always stand at the end of the class. Students begin to forget everything. They begin to doubt themselves. Why? You're supposed to know this more than ever before. Pressure. What pressure? For me, you all get Ain't no pressure from you. Every week you went on. What did I tell you for the first day of class? Read your book. Read your book. Go home. Go to the end of the book. Look at the case law. Match it against the notes. I-N-T-E-R-V-I-V-O-S. Two words. I-N-T-E-R, enter, and vivos is B. I-V-O-S. There's no question on chapter seven. Okay, six. Six you need for... The duties. Thank you, Jesus. No, that's it. You could have a little. Okay. Yeah. What happened? Let me write that. You better stop falling asleep. No, I'm not falling Chapter asleep. Chapter 8? No. What? Good question. Good question. Good question. Well, it says for two months mandatory question, Chief. Oh, no, six is mandatory. Chapter six is a mandatory question, yeah. She say none on seven and eight, so on nine. So chapter 9 speaks about the role and responsibility of a trust administrator. So roles and responsibilities. The number nine. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at here for number nine. You're looking here. You yeah. should be able to tell me what's required to be a trust administrator in terms of skills, capabilities, aptitude, qualification. said attitude? Aptitude. You say skills. skills. This, is not, this is not an essay. Skills, attitude, qualifications. That's it. Skills, qualification, aptitude. Aptitude. Mm -hmm. And this is not an essay question. So just based on what I said to you, what kind of question do you think this is? It's not an essay. 
So go to your asset protection trustee. So you expect us to know this. What was, what's the question? The coming rules that accompany that paragraph. So. Okay. So just know that basically was the. So we have to tie it into the, the chapter. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you that section. I want you to tell me what are the accounting rules that go with that section. Okay, just do the accounting rules. This is um, just a deed for this particular company, right? This is this is a, like a standard no. mm -hmm. deed. No. Each one would differ. Bahamas is on it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to go with seventeen eight and page five hundred nine. Which chapter is accounts again? Yeah, ten. that's what. I ten. To go with chapter ten. We'll chapter to ten you to go with that. Covered with you, beneficiaries. Yes. You have choices. You have the choice. You have to choose all nine. You know. You no, I've got to fill out all nine. I'm gonna do all. I mean, what uh, she give me, and I choose the ones I want. I like the ones. So, um, <laughs> when we talk about the accountants, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I want um, then you want us to tie no, no, it in the yeah. yeah. mm -hmm. Perfect at the six eight. The rules. Perfect. I'm doing my next one. Perfecto, mom. Mm -hmm. Okay, so chapter 12. What was the most important thing in chapter 12? Mm -hmm. Beneficiary yields rights. Mm -hmm. The right to information, the right to sue. But more important, what did the case bring out? <clears throat> Which case? What's the leading case for a beneficiary's right information? No, 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 it was presented early with them, with the beneficiaries, right? That's the beginning. This is it. What is this? Oh, Roth versus Dollar Shy. That's the second case. I remember 
Voice gate. Cowan versus Scargo. No. There you go. Schmidt. Yeah. Pronounce that again. Schmidt. Schmidt versus Rosewood. And his applicability to section 83. I know you did that. Schmidt. And Rosewood. <laughs> Smith and Rosewood and Section 83. The trust of 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 the you no. should have read it already. When you finish this, just in the question. Oh, I must think I love to read. You're the lawyer, right? You all like yeah. to read. You all like to read all your life. I realize to read and trust you're going to have to read. You have to read cases? I don't mind reading cases, but child. No, you got to understand that. Too. A thousand pages. I just can't read now. Fine, fine, right? It's just it's not a thousand pages. Help. Child, that's not a for me. Nice book. You don't have to read. Read it and comprehend the material. The things you got to read and up here. Have you ever read the Constitution of the Bonds? No. I read it when I need it. All right, so. Mandatory questions. Okay, so. Um, so that's Smith voices. Smith voices rules when uh, um, uh, as it relates to the disclosure section. That's the disclosure section. Mm -hmm. It's the right to information. Mandatory. But you're saying there's ten points, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But this only about the right to information. Any information on the right to information? <laughs> Yo, why don't you have to explain the case of, case of Schmitz? Mm -hmm. And then you have to compare that to what our legislation says. And then you have to conclude. Got it. That's a very easy one. Because if we go back all the way to Unit 1, Unit 1 spoke about the parties to a trust. So we spoke about beneficiaries, trustees, and set law. So that was the introduction. So now when you go to the end, they bring on more of a Section 83 and then go through the whole part of their disclosure of information, what they can see and cannot see in common law. Well, that's the easy one for true. I can do that. And then what the Act actually, what our legislation says you can see. So there's always I common law, and then there's always legislation. So mm -hmm. in common law, you st started with Londonderry, <coughs> then you went to Rock, then you went to Schmitz. That's yes. common law. And you take that versus Section 83 of the Trustee Act. What does our law say? A beneficiary can say. Got it. You have to read it. <sighs> Not guess. I know what the common law say. No, you know that might be the act. <laughs> Mandatory question. You must know breach of trust. <laughs> Could you stare us in the room? That's vague. What is breach of trust? We did it last week. When does a breach of trust occur? Anytime you don't do it according to the trust instrument. When you fail to perform any of your duties. There's a breach of trust. That's why I say it's chapter 6. Duties and powers. When you don't carry it out. Chapter 6, section 83. Duties and powers. So you have to say breach, what breach a breach is and the types of breach? You need to say what the trustee did first. 
So you give us a scenario. Mm -hmm. Okay. So say what the trustee didn't do or what the trustee did. Just one scenario or yeah. two? Two scenarios. This is the first one. <laughs> yes. So Before whenever we, we speak, to the yes. Okay, we so don't move yet. Whenever we speak of breach, when you hear when you when you hear a trustee to be liable for breach of trust, then you have to think of what? I just used the word. Suing them. Suing them, that's from the beneficiary side. Mm -hmm. And from the trustee side, what do you think about? Termination. No. When a trustee is liable, they have to pay. Okay, and be so insured. you think about liability, yes. Oh, so it's two okay. sides to a coin. Mm -hmm. He has to look at whether or not he has coverage. Or the indemnity there. Yes. There is provision in the trustee act. Mm -hmm. So you need to speak about that. For everything except the breach. Exactly. If he is at fault. Right, so if we do a breach, I ain't got for that. But the very first thing you have to determine is whether or not whatever was action he took was, was acting was in the best interest of the, the trust. trust. Of the trust. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then if not, you argue that he did not exercise his skill and judgment like he should have, leading to a breach. He wears that. No, this is the whole book. We, we ain't no lawyer, so I hope you can put this in. <laughs> you know, I don't expect you to be in legal terms. I want it to be in practical terms. I want it in practical terms, not legal terms. But I'm just showing you how you take the whole, the, it's the whole book, and you're looking at what did the trustee do? Mm -hmm. So you first say what he did. Then you say where he exercises um, duties to the best that he could, and then you talk about whether he would have li liability or not. Mm -hmm. Now, what if what if the beneficiary, what if the beneficiary decides that he's gonna be a part of it? A part of whatever it is the trustee's doing. So I'm looking for this in it in my book. Yeah. So <laughs> that. Um, Trustee is absolved from no, no, the beneficiary is a part of the trustee. They cancel trustee for yes, because it's still on the belief. And leave that at the yours. What you mean that if the beneficiary decides to be a part of the thing of collusion, the collusion, yeah, the collusion, yeah, you still breach it. I believe so. You have to advise the parties. Now you can do the exam different ways. You could answer your short ones first and then leave a lot of time, time yourself. Or you could spend a lot of time on the two mandatory and leave no time for the rest. That happens. Some people sometimes don't get to do two short answer questions and then they fail. You have to balance your time. What, what's this? What do you keep looking at her for? There don't be enough time. Like, I still no, it's hours. how you manage your time. It's three hours. Right? You know the mandatory questions, you have to think. Mm -hmm. The other ones, you already know what they are. So I guess you answer those ones first. And, and you don't spend a lot of time on it, because yeah. you already know. We but we still have hours. the three hours, that's what I'm asking. Yeah. But you know, for the other one, you have to sit down and you have to think. So the strategy is to try and get through. And bring in the case, and bring in case studies, duties, powers, and breach. What? The first one is breach of trust, and we'll say the second one. No. He's trying to get as much information. No, no, this one. I'm trying to suck it. 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 i what, number six, mandatory? Well, it's units in mandatory breach of trust fail to follow the, the duties. Um, basically, reading from what, the example you give us, did he, did he follow what um, a trustee is supposed to do? And um, 
looking the benefits of the beneficiary and looking at the benefits of him as a trustee. Him, he has no benefits. Well, not benefits, but covering himself. Basically. No, no, we live with this word cover. I never use no word cover yet. <laughs> no, no, what's the word he's supposed to be using? Indemnification. You see, you didn't go on, on the wrong track. Oh. You know when you go on the wrong track, what that means, right? What do you mean indemnification? I thought indemnity, the member the thing which is up to get, like to make sure that the trust, you wouldn't be liable if you take over a trust from someone, that's the bond of indemnity, right? We right. feel it's insurance. You have to read the trustee act. Whenever you think indemnity, you think insurance. Sure. Same thing. Mm -hmm. So you see that's all the time. Do you have insurance, right? Mm -hmm. See? Yeah, but it, I said the word insurance. She said the word insurance. Mm -hmm. yeah, and then I said there's a section of trustee act that speaks about insurance. Mm -hmm. so this section 83 would just say 83. <laughs> so 83 is benefiting. 24. Thanks. Oh, what did I tell you from the voice class? Print the trustee act and read it. I can print it. What I could do with <laughs> What I could do with you? Just give me an eight. That's all you gotta do with me. Ninety-five percent. Cases. No, no. Exactly. Girl, the cases. Oh, one. The, the thing is, is how you write it. If mm -hmm. if you're talking about a particular, you're talking about breach. Mm -hmm. So in that whole unit, there are many cases. You should at least give me one. Okay. You see that, man? Yes. I look like the set with your nose, your head, and the set your knee. What is it, now? <laughs> Which one's your nose, your head? Boy, here versus sun, the sun versus What is it? They're not terminating at dust today, sorry. Spice, spice, spade, and bone. Yes. You'll need that one. Mm -hmm. Which one? It's yeah, coming up next. Which one? The X. But don't you need that for some of the other ones we said before? Okay then. What do you mean, boy? Yes, there are cases at the end of the chapters. Mm -hmm. I know this. Well, then we have to write another exam to you, you know. Why would you want to do that? Charlie, I don't want to know what I want. I feel sorry for them said we didn't come to us these two classes. They must see him call someone. Second mandatory question is on chapter 6, 11, and 13. Chapter 6, hold on. Investments. Oh. Don't, don't forget that everything a trustee does is based on chapter six. And this is 20 points. Mm -hmm. Reach. Reach always means that the beneficiaries want to sue. That's 13. Powers. I 
Eleven investments. Investments. Six. Mm -hmm. What are the duties that um? When you read the scenario, um, you have to decide what duties they're carrying out or what powers they're exercising. Mm -hmm. And the thirteen is breach. It's always a breach. It's either breach or no breach. He's calling on the Lord now. And that's the exam. But you won't give us no bad into this last question. This the this the um thing or thing. What? That is the guy. That is the guy who's right after six. It's a scenario. The two mandatory questions are scenarios. Guarantee you doing this and you just give us a So you know that's analysis. Looking at whatever's the scenario and determining what is the issue. Yes, child. I prefer this. This boy still stuck on this mouth. Joyce was here, but you didn't tell us people is fail. So if she tells me people is fail, let her have one last time. Say people. My students on, on Tuesday, someone shouted, man, let's do multiple choice. How much you get on the last one? Four to five. Half. I said, no, we're not doing that. It's the easier way. Except these mandatory ones. The mandatory ones you have to think. See. Yes, you have to analyze and But you gotta look at it. You could do at least sixty points in the beginning. Then you really only need half of one of those mandatory questions to pass. So that's easy. Because you only need seventy points, right? Mm-hmm. But who coming out with the A? Me. Okay. Ninety five. Speaking. Mm -hmm. But I'm just saying. Yeah. A pass is a pass, so you know, you're a pass. Seven points if you get. Uh huh. What happened now? What am I married now? So what? <laughs> no. But 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 the ones that you have to choose from. I've already guided you. I already pointed you. I already told you what I want. But now it comes to me to show you have to show me now what you know in the two mandatory ones. See what I don't understand about life, right? Yes. You could do a test, but when you finish this test and walk out of here, uh huh, then you remember you, everything? No. That then gone because you just want to pass. Why you go? Some key things, so you, you gotta remember, remember few, everything. So you tell yeah, you remember key things, and then when you go on the part two, the, then you the see. things that we learned in the course and itself, you remember those things. Only thing but I wish is uh, the part two is right after. It's be better like that. No, the only thing I wish was part two. We we can't get just going on part three. You see that three parts? I don't do pricing. I think this will be the last one. <laughs> 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 but it's over. Uh, three months. Yeah, it's over three months. Yeah, but that's the last uh, grind of my life. Yeah, but you got to think about what you get it. Yeah. yeah. Right. And when you get your job. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. after you finish that, then you move into step. Mm -hmm. Which is 12, right? Mm -hmm. 12 what? Yes. Yes. How much touchy? A car. Yeah. In total, total in total or for per person? No, it's for the whole thing, I think it's for twelve. Mm -hmm. And you do that alone. Mm -hmm. Self study. Self study. So this is the foundation. You have to learn this. And I had this easy in the verse. Did I? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That we can make this more difficult. No, no. No, I'm just saying we the put it on par to step. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. you may never pass. Yes. You see what I mean? So that's why it's a foundation and that's why I encourage you to read the cases. Mm -hmm. So if you decide to go on further, it's a lot easier. Mm -hmm. so that's see them cases again. You see them again. And you'll know, you'll know the law behind the words when you see it. 
So if you, if they were to say the trustee as a fiduciary did this in breach of trust or whatever it is, you know what fiduciary means. You know the case. When you see the word fiduciary, you know those 13 duties that are in that chapter, they are in the back of your mind. The minute you hear that word fiduciary, the whole list of 13 things come in your mind. And with those duties, then you go to chapter 6. With the duty, there comes powers. So if you don't pass that step, you have to do the whole course again? Right? Oh, I don't know. It's done in stages. Mm -hmm. Step in a, just a, like an international exam. It it's an international yeah. exam. It it's not your... It's international. It's international self-study. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. I know someone now who's doing... You gotta get into a company. See, a company to pay for that. Pay for it for you. Mm-hmm. You get in first and then you let them sign you up. Mm -hmm. yeah. But once you get this, you can get in. Yeah. Once you get this class. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the door. Yeah, it's me. Praise the Lord. <laughs> and then, how, especially how you know insurance, they could use you. Because I die. Yeah. Because you know, in trust, they have lots of, of um, assets in the corpus yachts, mm -hmm. this, that. Mm -hmm. So they need people mm -hmm. with different expertise. Mm -hmm. And I find, too, a lot of, in after Hurricane Matthew, mm -hmm. I realize, like, all these property managers we have over here, they know what they're doing. Of course not. They think they know what they're doing, but they know what they're doing. Well, you know so what you're doing, Tyler, I feel so like explain. this. Shit. I had one situation mm -hmm. where, I don't know how, you know, rich people, I guess this guy had several properties. He had the properties insured twice. Didn't know, he was paying the premium. Twice with like Joel. Somebody was robbing it. I get people distrusting. Yeah. <laughs> but imagine you go in, you go in with that expertise. Oh. Okay. And then they don't have the right insurance or all find of that, out the, the type of coverage. Yeah. yeah. The right type of coverage. Or so they all of out. all of that. You know. um, it upset me to find out that you control. have to get a hurricane insurance. It's not this. Yeah. You should. You gotta pay for that. You don't have that to do make that no sense to me, man. Oh, Lord. To have a hurricane insurance? No. It's the same insurance. You can get insurance with or without catastrophe coverage. Mm -hmm. Without is obviously cheaper. No, but you live in a hurricane. But it, okay, so what am I paying so insurance I guess you want generally to be for? Without insurance too. That's just like in the States how they separate the flood insurance. We separate the the thing. You pay it, you okay, so what insur what main insurance you paying for your home then? Paying for the risk. You pay it if it burned yeah. down. If someone run through it with a car, you cover it. Someone break in your house, you cover it. It's covered. Mm -hmm. But if you take out the hurricane coverage, when hurricane come, and it's covered. It's still hell getting even if your if your house get breaking. It's still even no. hell getting your money back. No, it ain't. You can't just walk into the insurance company and say, someone break in my house and tee fifty thousand dollars worth of stuff I want my everything. No. You have to prove your loss. No, but even the insurance, I mean I need something here. Yeah. How, how could you how could you prove that? Other than window. um a broken glass and either you prove it or you show that you've made it or it's a test. Yes, that's it for you. Yeah, 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 they take my stuff and I want them back. Yeah, give so me, give me ten report, her. fingerprints and all these stuff and yeah. See, it don't make sense because when we tell you why. Where, where are you? You can't prove. Huh? I have to change my clothes now. You want to you want to get ready for the exam. Oh. Or just building coverage? Because plenty people around here only have the building coverage, not the contents. Hmm. This is all I should afford. Yes. Yeah. 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 Paying it's insurance is free money. Yeah, for the insurance company. That's free money. Oh no, you only you only oh, said that you have a claim. Exactly. And but trust me, stuff is stuff is. That money, money, money. Yeah, he's never had a claim. He had, he had a. Uh, that was property. Exactly, was the amount of money you pay them, they can afford them. Please, they pay them. Please, like water. Like water. Yeah. Them, what are you doing with nothing. this money that you're making? In comparison to what you're making. Man, let me tell you. This lady, she gone and, and then um, she get injured. So the the insurance. Oh. It wasn't recording. Oh my gosh, she lied. Oh. No. Oh.
Didn't he press the button? I thought he came and started. Mm -hmm. They didn't take. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry for that. I'm too fast. Sorry too. I didn't touch anything. It's in, I was wondering why it was red. It ain't do. See, because it's not even moving. Wow. Oh, it didn't record. Tell him come fix it. Come fix what? You finished? I have to do round two. <laughs> No. <laughs> but an insurance company can actually uh, mm -hmm. write you a letter or something say they don't want to deal with you no more. Yeah. <laughs> you just give them all that money for them to write you a letter. No, if, you are, if you're a frequent claimant or if you're problematic, they have the right to refuse your service. This woman do? get injured, right? And she will get the insurance or so why? Over the relevant she go on there and go claim. So you know, so you know, you have to read investments that chapter by part. You know, you have to read the section of the act on investments. You know, when you do investments. You're welcome. Um, I don't know who to tell him that this wasn't recording. It ain't me. Who's telling him? Because when you said you was going to press the button, he pressed he it. He get ready, ready to press it. He came and I thought he pressed it. He might not press it. Okay, sorry. Don't worry. Well? Don't worry. 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 Yeah, but yeah. this was this. Just, oh, you recorded it. Oh, you recorded it. Did you video oh, it? Did you do the sound? I recorded it um, audio, and that'll be a feed. Um, so. Listen, you. <laughs> half off of my thing. <laughs> <laughs> half off of my thing, and you can get this recorded. Are you black bailouts? I give you all the bad pass. Yeah. <laughs> I know this one was going to be important, so I recorded it. Tell them transfer. What else? I hope you can hear it. Send an email to Uncle Bobby. Send an email. I hope you can hear it, though. And none of us remember that. I know it's all good. I know, but I can if you put on a louder volume. The whole thing on there, the whole thing. Maybe you can load it for a point of view. Yeah, hey, you're the seller, hey. Maybe you can load it for a point of view. Yeah, you're the seller, hey. Maybe you can load it for a point of view. Yeah, you're the seller, hey. Maybe you can load it for a point of view. Yeah, you're the seller, hey. Maybe you can load it for a point of view. You don't have a much really Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should have more than Yeah. What? I don't know the sunglasses. Yeah, but I mean, we didn't write much on the board. We no, just no, went no, over. Yeah. Well, you came in the same today. The words are more important. You saved the day. Yeah, yeah you saved the day because there's nothing on here. Oh. Leave the day now. Was it, was it us? <laughs> was it us? Charge, you don't charge, man. You don't charge. You love us. Who's missing today? Two people. Brenda and the lady in the car. Yeah. Someone else missing. Oh, Scarlett was Thank you. Yeah. No, what's up? I can send it to you and you and whoever oh. wanted to have You have my number. I sent it to you right now. Please, sorry you didn't get the recording. <laughs> Cyril will save the day for you. Right, Cyril? That will be a fee. Yeah. Let um, what are you in, Junior? Junior can load the audio. No. He's a real businessman, right? Yes, of course. You gotta take but when your time comes in, though, somebody can save you. My dad. Don't be my opic. Don't be my opic with these things. What goes around comes around. You did not have to know this. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, that's the thing. 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 Yeah, that's the thing.